Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea, thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, we are going to find out for those of you who are single, who is coming towards you romantically. Today is the 30th of March 2024, time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 8.23 a.m. Let's get your reading started, Virgo, spirits and angels, please show me for single Virgos who is coming towards the single Virgos romantically. Virgo, please bear in mind that this is just a general reading, may or may not resonate with you. If you like a personal reading that's tailor-made for you, just for you and you alone, you can book me. All the information is in the description box below. devil in reverse at the bottom of the deck now the devil in reverse for me virgo for those of you who are single the person who is coming towards you romantically is going to be somebody very positive somebody very happy but first you will you will have to disconnect yourself from people or exes or you know just fear Mm, insecurities you got to disconnect with unhealthy people or unhealthy mindset okay because we've got again the Sun here very strong Leo energy this person could be a Leo strength could be a Virgo Capricorn Taurus Aquarius can be any sign I feel like um, this person is very very different from you are because there is a lion and there is an angel right here. Two different species, right? Or human and uh, animal. So I feel like uh, both of you are very different from each other. The world here is in one verse. This person is already in your... Could be already in your energy field or where you're at located right now, okay? Eight of Wands, or this person is coming or traveling towards you, towards your country, towards your town. We've got the judgment here. You definitely meet this person because the judgment is like, like it or not, okay? Like it or not, because this is an angel. Um, it feels like this is also what universe, what the universe wants for you, wants for both of you to meet each other because there is a higher power right here okay queen of pentacles virgo this is you i like that queen of pentacles is here but it could also mean that this is somebody who is going to make you feel safe secure stable this i feel like could be a long-term connection page of pentacles and one first could be younger than you are i feel and I feel like you also will have to be very patient with this individual, okay? Some of you, maybe you've already met them. If not, I feel like it's coming in soon, okay? Feels like younger than you are. The star in my verse, Ace of Cups in my verse. <laughs> Virgo, this may not be somebody that you feel like, okay, I don't think, I don't think this is the person I want to be romantically connected to. Um, but, 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 I feel like that's, that is because there are so many differences between the two of you. Opposites do attract. So I feel like Virgo, you may either think that this is somebody whom is like too unattainable out of your league, or this person may think you are out of their league. Okay. Whatever the case is, I feel like there is, you know, a huge difference, whether it's um, age gap or um, religion or because this person is a foreigner, speak different languages, different background. It can be anything, but I think, you know, Virgo, this is someone very different from you or opposite from you or it feels like younger, a younger energy. Let's see more, Virgo. If you want a personal reading that's very accurate a lot of people tell me that that's tailor-made tailor-made just for you 
book me through PayPal, all info below, okay? We've got the hangman right here, the tower in one first, the hermit in one first. So, some of you Virgo, you gotta get out, okay? You gotta get, you gotta get out, out of this isolation mode because the hermit tends to isolate himself or herself from the world, you know, prefer to do things, the same thing, like a routine, Queen of Pentacles right here. Um, but if you want, if you're single and you want to meet someone, I feel like this person is there, okay, or is already here. Um, but Queen of Wands indicates you needing to be more active, take actions, go out with the judgment here. This is out in the open, right? And the emperor here is in reverse. And also, don't uh, try to control, okay? This, is, this can be controlling energy, but not in a good way. Don't try to control the outcome. Don't have too high of an expectation. Just go with the flow and stay happy, stay positive. Then you're going to be attracting this person in particular. And these two cards are in reverse. It's doesn't mean that they are bad it just feels like maybe there could be a bit of a delay of you meeting this person or this connection blossoming into something romantic okay we got the nano swords here now virgo i posted a video like yesterday for the lonely virgos for the single virgos because i've got a request like how about a single virgo so this is why i figured i should do the the single reading for those of you who are single, Virgo, and the hangman also, it's like there could be a pause or stagnancy in you meeting this person because you you can end up just isolating yourself. A lot of you could be isolating yourself, so that means you know less chance for you or less opportunity for you to meet your um, new person here. Let's see a bit more, Virgo. Death here is a month first, got the lovers. That means it's a choice, right? It's your choice if you want to meet this person. Mm, but I feel like the judgment, you will, but then maybe there could be a delay because especially if you put yourself in the isolation mode here with the hermit or trying to control with the emperor in month first, control the situation, control yourself. Um, Death here is in reverse. Feels like this is a long lasting connection. Could be a twin flame, doesn't matter. Twin flame, soulmate. Bear in mind that even if everybody likes to ask, oh, my soulmate, where's my soulmate? But soulmate doesn't, even if you meet your soulmate, we have multiple soulmates, okay, in our lifetime. So even if you meet a soulmate, it doesn't guarantee a long lasting um, connection with your soulmate okay uh, bear that in mind even if it's twin flame doesn't mean that both of you will break up um, it could also be long lasting so just don't take those terms uh, too literally okay so we've got the knight of cups in reverse could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio I, f I feel again this is someone younger than you are okay this is somebody I feel who is very good in bed with the strength and the lovers, the intimacy part of this connection. If you do meet this person, if you do start a romantic relationship with this person, I feel like your intimacy, your physical intimacy is going to be fire because a lot of fire energy here, right? Um, I feel like Virgo... Eight of Wands also can indicate some of you will meet this person online. I somehow feel like this person is already here, okay? And again, some of you may have already met this person. Some of you haven't yet, but if you haven't, it's coming in soon. But you need to, again, put yourself out there, go out, do things, um, or go online um, on dating apps, whichever you feel much, you know, whichever you feel more comfortable with. Definitely this is somebody who thinks a lot. <laughs> but some of you, you could be overthinking as well, Virgo. 
then I feel like it's very important to stay in this very, very positive energy. The sun is like anything is possible, that kind of a feeling that I'm picking up on, okay? Even if there is an age gap, even if there are a lot of differences between the two of you, it doesn't mean that it cannot work, okay? Just keep being happy, being positive, and you are going to be attracting somebody who is going to um, value you, who thinks that you are a positive uh, addition to their life. But it could also mean that, Virgo, this person could be a positive addition to your life. But I keep seeing this, um, this, this energy of, you know, but what if with the Tower in Reverse, what if things don't work out? And what if, you know, whatever that I want, I wish for, it's not going to come true? What if it's not going to take off with the Ace of Cups in Reverse? What if this person is not genuine towards me? You know, um, so a lot of these things could be, you know, a blockage or blockages for you in meeting your uh, new romantic partner. But there is someone, I feel like could be a couple of people as well, both I feel like are younger than you are. Could also be the emperor here, older, but I see you rejecting. <laughs> Some of you are just going to be rejecting these people or these love options, but keep Keep moving forward, okay, eight of wands. You know, um, there's at least one that I feel is going to make you feel really happy, but it takes a lot of patience uh, with the strength here and acceptance in order for this connection to work out. Could also be a Gemini right here. Okay, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. A lot of people tell me I'm very accurate. And if you like to um, check out my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot, where I would usually go live on there and do you know, weekly, monthly, or yearly prediction reading, um, go subscribe to my main channel. And on this channel, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time I post your videos, which is every single day. Take care, Virgo. Love you. Bye.